Greetings, my superiors. I am Schlosser. Just Schlosser. Today, my unfunny ass emerges out to the bottomless vacuum of you two. I need to die in the gene pool with what most of the internet refers to as fail. But enough of the toilet is shrunk. I'm a very good video game that's been beaten to death many times before. Why? Because I believe in Dostoevsky's principle of suffering. With cheap microphone and the most generic voice clock of the times, suffering is indeed at hand. For the both of us. <laughs> It's a piece of shit reveal that tells you what you already know. Superman 64, a perfect way to begin suffering from my sins against you two. Looking at it at first glance, it says that most of the budget for this game went to bookers and plow. Nothing wrong with that. But please do us the favor of not transmitting venereal diseases via video game. Okay, thanks. In short time, your fate will be sealed, Superman. The transporter that sends cardboard cutouts of Superman's friends to a parallel universe. Way to spend that bail on money, Lynx. It's like you spent so many tax dollars on that damn device that you had a fake for trying to devise the game plot. Good job. Dumbass. In this parallel universe, we see that it is near the end of Warhol's vision that Metropolis will be bombarded by Africanized beings. It is a visual mind effect that uses your eyes to use as flashlights. Yes, I know that is still made for you. F0X looking at me as a scratcher from my GT Tech, but it's also missing some of the question. Superman, it feels like one thing, flying for wings. Our plane is a man that is impervious to all the natural elements, is faster than a speeding bullet, and could probably see Russia from his house. Why is he rubbing it into trying out for the Cirque du Soleil? Why does Superman control like I'm driving a Ford? Why does Superman become like this bitch all of a sudden? Why does this one suck? Why am I trying to be funny? Is there no god out there who can put an end to this treachery? It's so bad. It's a horrible raping of one's childhood, and a death to all that was once good and wholesome with its perversion of a classic icon. I know I wanted to suffer, but if I wanted to see such epic failure, I'd go watch you turn lions for no thank you. Honestly, I take my chances in Joseph Fritzl's basement to the play this game again, and you'll probably do the same thing as well. So before I continue leading a dead horse, I think this needs to be said. <laughs> Flawless victory. Fatality. There's no time to waste. 